cast their votes, mm -hmm. I, th I think I think most in the African American community will remain loyal mm -hmm. to the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. But we have to admit that very little has been said about these kinds of issues, mm -hmm. about issues of affirmative action, mm -hmm. about issues of voter suppression and, mm -hmm. and intimidation. Mm -hmm. These are the kinds of issues that black people hold dear. Mm -hmm. and, and unfortunately, we haven't seen much of this addressed mm -hmm in the debates between the mm -hmm. presidential candidates. But I think African Americans will remain loyal mm -hmm. to the Democratic mm -hmm. Party. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, Dr. Baldwin, sometimes it, it, it appears that uh, we've simply forgotten what uh, the suffrage has done for yeah. African Americans. Exactly. You know, and, 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 and I'm just hoping that uh, there will be a renewed attempt yeah. on the part of our leaders yeah. to uh, further enhance what we're trying to do at the, at the Exa ballot box. Exactly. If you look at the statistics now in the polls, uh, I think we can say that 87 percent of African Americans mm -hmm. will support the Democratic candidate. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, studies show since August of this year, 2016, that in some states, zero percent support the Republican mm -hmm. candidate. Mm -hmm. And I've seen in other polls, uh, one percent to eight percent mm -hmm. for the Republican mm -hmm. candidate. Mm -hmm. So what you see in these polls, of course, is the continuous, continuing loyalty of African Americans mm -hmm. to a particular party system, mm -hmm. the Democratic Party. But again, you know, it, the question remains, you know, to what extent have these party systems mm -hmm. addressed the kinds of issues mm -hmm. that African Americans hold dear? And, 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 and I think that it's true, as you indicated, that uh, we've seen very little information in reference to what the Democratic Party can exactly. and, and will do in terms of policy. Exactly. But uh, on the other hand, the other folks have said absolutely nothing, anything about it. Exactly, you know, and, and, exactly. And it's, usually what they refer to as dog whistles and exactly. all those kinds of old ideas of yes, taking yes. us back a century, yeah. of, almost a century. And, and, and that's the point you have to be careful about. Mm -hmm. How, to what extent will we turn back the clock? Mm -hmm. And I think you're quite right that the failure to address these issues means, of course, that mm -hmm that what black Americans feel and what they cherish mm -hmm. uh, have really gotten lost in this mm -hmm. election cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't hear much discussed at all about what we think, mm -hmm. or what we feel, or what we think about the future, mm -hmm. or the kinds of issues that we hold dear, the kinds of values mm -hmm. that we cherish. And so uh, it, it's a very strange election it cycle. Is. It, it, and I think it's, it's summarized by the word what have you got to lose? Exactly, right? exactly, and, and exactly. when you start summarizing everything and looking at uh, a large percentage of the electorate, uh, uh, from that perspective, it, it, it's really difficult to find out how, and, and, and I don't see how uh, a, a party can survive with the kind of attitudes that many of them are taking toward not only Africans, but all minorities. Yeah, Latino like, Americans, mm -hmm. uh, Muslim Americans, mm -hmm. uh, uh, gay and lesbian mm -hmm. Americans. Uh, you have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you have to be able to respond mm -hmm. with policy initiatives mm -hmm. that, that, that speak to the concerns of all of these segments mm -hmm. of our society. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we haven't heard very much about that at all. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, these uh, debates that they're having really does not, uh, in a real sense, produce any kind of information. It's a lot of showmanship and exactly. a lot of whatever. Exactly. But really very little information in terms of what people will do. Yeah. And I, uh, Charges back and forth, forth uh, uh -huh. uh, attacks back and mm -hmm. forth, uh, and very little in terms of policy mm -hmm. uh, initiatives and, and policy solutions to the problems that we all face mm -hmm. as Americans and more particularly what African Americans mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. And we've been down for a long time mm -hmm. in terms of the kind of aid and assistance that we need in terms of uh, ability to do what we have to do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're concerned very much about our future in this country. Mm -hmm. What about the future of, of, of affirmative action mm -hmm. initiatives? What about the future of, of voting rights? Mm -hmm. uh, what about the future of, of of pay equity mm -hmm. and, and, and employment uh, opportunities. What about uh, uh, the imprisonment of African Americans mm -hmm. and, 
and uh, the the astonishing rate of of incarceration in this country. And, you know, that's that's a curious thing. As yeah. many folks that are being killed in the streets by guns, exactly. Nobody, everybody is afraid to say anything about trying gun, to the, at least the gun culture and how it? it is contributing to a culture of violence mm -hmm. in our country and particularly in the black community. Mm -hmm. Uh, we haven't heard much about that no, at, not all. at all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And of course, what we're doing uh, is getting ready for the second commercial break. And we'll mm -hmm. be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. People back to work. about so personal attacks. You know? and, and, oh my God, uh, hate. That's exactly. what it is. That's hate. Hate. <laughs> hate. <laughs> Nothing but hate. God, that's you know, all it is, so man. I mean, you know, and so, hopefully, I hope it doesn't discourage, and I'd like to deal with that in the mm -hmm. last segment. Okay. To what extent this might incur discourage turnout? Mm -hmm. I think it's going to promote turnout myself. You do? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. I think that we're going to have the greatest black folks going to get out and vote. I think, and, and I think all of the people who have felt disenfranchised going to get out and vote. Get out and, vote. Lord, I and that benefits the Democratic yeah, Party. Yeah, that will benefit the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I just don't see any place where folks are going to stay at home. Okay. I mean, this thing has gotten too hot oh, yeah, for folks. Yeah. So you got to say something one way or the other. You exactly. know, that's what I told my yeah. son. I said, nah. and my grandson, I said, now y'all, you tell your folks y'all got to get out and vote. I don't yeah. care who you vote for. But, but one other thing we need to deal with, I think, is to the extent to which the third party, uh -huh. the Libertarian uh -huh. Party, with, uh -huh. with Johnson, yeah. The extent to which he's ciphering on off something like that. That's books. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But I, th I think I think Miss Clinton's going to win this thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm so. sure. That's what all of the uh, folks that I hear on television, MSNBC, CNN, uh, In Wall Street Journal, Journal Huffington uh, Post, uh -huh. they oh, all yeah. show a victory. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. And, and I'm just praying that. Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Lewis Baldwin, and, he, and he's giving us some information in reference to African Americans and the election of 2016. And of course, Dr. Baldwin, let's uh, do, take during this last uh, segment, let's take the opportunity to deal with some, some issues that you believe to be important mm -hmm. in this election so that we can sort of end this particular segment, yeah. given some directions in terms of what people well, can yeah. do and what we ought, to, ought do. to do. I think that this election is important, first of all, because we need to assure the preservation of the Obama legacy. Mm -hmm. Obama has been very intentional about addressing health care issues, about addressing uh, employment issues in the black community, uh, criminal justice, justice. issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm the issues that pertain to law enforcement mm -hmm. and its relationship to the black community. So we need to preserve his legacy in terms mm -hmm. of, of, of pushing legislation that address mm -hmm. the concerns for African Americans and women. We have to keep in mind mm -hmm. that the Lilly Ledbetter Law or Act Mm -hmm. was signed by, Doc, uh, by President, President Obama, Obama. Uh -huh. uh, which uh, called for equal pay equity for women. Mm -hmm. So we first of all got to preserve his legacy mm -hmm. uh, for the black community. And I think that's very important for the black community. Mm -hmm. Another concern, of course, is, is, is how will uh, this election cycle, and particularly the person who wins mm -hmm. the office of president, mm -hmm. how will that person address issues such as affirmative action, mm -hmm. such as uh, gun control, mm -hmm. Uh, criminal justice, crime in black communities. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is very, very important. We look to the future, black Americans mm -hmm. do. We've always looked to the future mm -hmm. 
because we have had problems dealing with the past yeah, in no, many cases, right, and dealing with the present. present. <laughs> we look to yeah, a uh -huh. future with things hope. Things have to get better. Yeah, they, things yeah, have to get uh -huh. better. So we have a more hopeful view when mm -hmm. it comes to the future. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, black Americans today are looking for someone mm -hmm. who will build on the Obama legacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think most black Americans, studies show that 87% of blacks mm -hmm. at least will vote mm -hmm. for the Democratic candidate. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that most black Americans feel that the Democratic candidate, who happens to be Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. uh, represents a, a, a better uh, you know, a better, better prospects, choice. a yeah, better, better choice, choice. Yes, that, for the uh, future in uh, terms of how our own platform mm -hmm. in the black community will be advanced. Mm -hmm. Not only in terms of the preservation of the Obama legacy, legacy but, but terms, building on that, that legacy, legacy. Mm -hmm. in terms of what? Creating more jobs. Mm -hmm. There's unemployment in certain black communities at 58 mm percent. -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how will the future president address those kinds of issues? Mm -hmm. How will the future president address the gun issue? Mm -hmm. uh, Hillary Clinton has talked about gun control. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump has talked about the Second Amendment mm -hmm. rights and how do you extend those rights. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we have to look at that mm -hmm. because that's very, very important because crime, particularly black on black crime, mm -hmm has reached epidemic proportions mm -hmm. in places like Chicago mm -hmm. and New Orleans and Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very concerned about the, the candidate who wins mm -hmm. and how that candidate will mm -hmm. promote our agenda mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as it relates not only to education mm -hmm. and jobs. And the Supreme and, Court. And the Supreme Court, the, very yes, important. Very important. Pay equity, mm -hmm. voting rights, affirmative action. Mm -hmm. I think these are the con concerns that black people bring to the ballot mm -hmm. as they vote for our president mm -hmm. uh, on November 8th. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I think over the last five minutes, uh, Dr. Bowen, I think that uh, this is an opportunity mm -hmm. for uh, black folks and other folks who feel that they've been uh, discriminated against. Disenfranchised. This, this, right, this is an opportunity for them to move forward. Exactly. See, and, and, and the best way to move forward is to have a, a good agenda. Exactly. And I think that uh, the Democrats do at least have somewhat of a, uh, an agenda. I mean, it's, see, at least it might be on the web paid somewhere, exactly. but at least it's out there somewhere, yeah. and, and it's not a bunch of, uh, well, anyway, I mean, yeah, you, exactly. I think it characterizes itself exactly. uh, when, when you talk about the opposite of Yeah, that. we have to keep in mind now that since the mid-60s when uh, modern...